While drivers continue to deal with pothole problems, today TDOT is closing lanes in three major areas for road repairs. News Force Ryan Breslin explains how this continues work that TDOT was already doing. As we were reporting last week, because of the rain we had over the weekend, TDOT and Metro Public Works says that they've definitely had some patches come loose they already worked on, as well as new potholes emerging. There's some definitely out there that if you hit them, you for a second you think you're you're going down. Drivers like Michael Blassengim are dealing with some pretty large potholes this season. As he drove toward I-440 via Murphy Road Sunday, his three-month-old tires took a hit and split on the side wall. Some of these potholes, they don't necessarily look that big until you hit them. This car being a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit lower to the ground maybe, you really do feel the impact. Metro Public Works says, like last week, they're running five trucks and crews repaired more than 1,500 potholes between February 22nd and February 28th. And TDOT says it's unfortunately something they'll have to battle through the spring until they can regularly get hot mix. When Blassingham went to the tire shop, he was told they're seeing about 15 to 20 people a day come in with the same issue. I know they're doing the best they can, but it's just really unfortunate. It's, it's, it's an expense. And, and it's time, you know, as well. TDOT doesn't have a current number on the amount of patching materials that they have used, but says it will likely be more than last week. And you'll remember last week they used 148 tons. Ryan Breslin, News 4 Nashville. And TDOT's going to be focused on a few major areas. Take a look here. I-40 at the Buffalo River Bridge in Humphreys County, Vietnam Veterans Boulevard in Sumner County by Saundersville Road and East Main Street, and then I-24 in Rutherford County. That's going to have two lanes closed.